So will the future be filled with cyborgs? Well, our present is pretty filled with cyborgs. Uh, you probably hang out with them all the time, and you know, they don't look like Robocop or the Terminator or the Borg or any of these other dystopian ideas of what it will be like as our, our human bodies become more and more technologically enhanced. Uh, to understand the, the word cyborg, you have to go back to its origins, which uh, were in 1960, actually. Uh, this duo of Klein and Kleins put together this article for NASA where they're making all these recommendations about how we can enhance the human body to better enable uh, the exploration of extraterrestrial worlds and uh, enable the human body to better survive uh, travel through outer space. Now, they made a whole list of often radical, sometimes a little icky, um, suggestions about how we might uh, spruce up the human body for space and these involved everything from uh, surgically implanting pumps in the body to uh, administer drugs uh, you know things that you might need to stay awake when staying awake uh, in space may, means the difference between life and death uh, or putting you down if you're getting a little agitated they also had things like rerouting the human digestive system through a filtration system and then back into the human body uh, so they were really out there on some of these ideas. They were, you know, I think there was a sort of brainstorming sensibility to it all. But the basic idea of let's take the human body and let's change it so that it can better survive an extreme condition, this has been happening uh, as, as long as humans have been picking up stones to hit things with. I mean, because the, the first uh, primitive ancestor of ours to pick up that rock and use it as a tool, uh, he was making that rock an extension of his own body. He was identifying it as an extension of his own body in the mind. So we augmented our body more and more to survive extreme conditions. Uh, if it was cold, we put on more clothing, right? We put on a fur or something. If we had to go diving underwater for an extended period of time, uh, we created the gear that would enable that to happen. We eventually mo moved on from the physical world to the mental world, especially as we built up this uh, world of information around us. We need things like uh, this wristwatch, uh, which helps me to uh, figure out where I am in time and uh, synchronize myself with the rest of this information world. Um, we also tend to all have these uh, smartphones now, and that just means even more data that we have at our fingertips uh, that allows us to better navigate the world around us. As for the future, I think it's definitely going to be more of a smartphone uh, cyborg future than a Borg and Robocop cyborg future. And the big reason here is the field of human computing, where um, experts around the world continue to uh, cook up ways in which the technology is closer to us. We don't have to change our lives to interact with the technology. The technology is, is closer to us in design and easier to use. And so it's not going to be this horrible nightmare scenario. Instead, it's just going to be a, a steady augmentation of our lives that allows us to not only better navigate this growing world of information around us, but also uh, conceivably explore other worlds.